just absolutely thrilled and delighted and honored to be ASN's next president. And I'm really looking forward to a full agenda, both carrying forward some of the excellent initiatives by most recently Samin Mandani and before her Gordon Jensen, and moving forward in some new initiatives. And I guess if there was a theme for what I want to try to achieve is really try to further increase both the engagement of all of our members with the society and really try to work on having even greater cohesion among all the members of our society. And of course, this is a real issue for nutrition. Nutrition has to be one of the most diverse disciplines there is. When you look at nutrition, we come from different sectors, some from the academics, some from government, some from the nonprofits, some from the for-profit or corporate sector. So we're in all sorts of institutions, all sorts of organizations. And many of us were trained in very different fundamental disciplines. Some of us in basic chemistry and biochemistry, but we have economists, we have epidemiologists, we have social behavioral scientists. So we are a very broad organization. But we, what we share in common is that tie to advancing nutrition science for public health and clinical health. And with the new meeting or the new independent meeting coming, it's important that we really affirm our commitment to nutrition and the multidisciplinary approaches to nutrition. And that's really the overall theme for what do I want to achieve as president. So the first initiative I'd like to do is strengthen the interactions and the engagement of ASN with our academic units, both to develop good leadership within academic institutions and to better support undergraduate education. Number two is I'd really like to focus on collecting graduate students who are training globally around regional graduate student organizations. So there are many graduate students from developing countries that are studying in the U.S. and abroad. We want to have a mechanism to bring those individuals together so they can network while they're graduate students. So when they go back to their home countries, they've already formed these linkages that they're going to need for their future professional development. Number three, I'd really like to expand ASN as a global authority on nutrition, but with even greater reach and impact and do this by being a broker where controversial issues in nutrition can be debated. We can determine what the evidence is, what we're not sure of, but have these forums where we can be the trusted authority in nutrition globally with even greater reach than what we've had. We'd also like to strengthen the ASN portfolio to make sure that it meets the needs of all our members. Currently, nutrition is expanding in all of these areas that hasn't been in the past. There's a lot more interest now in linking nutrition and agriculture, nutrition and technology. We want to make sure that as nutrition grows into other domains and other sectors, that the portfolio of ASN activities, our awards, our RISs, other programs, really meet the needs of all our members. And finally, in the year 2028 will be 100 years of ASN, and our strategic plan will expire in 2016. So we need to begin now to plan our next strategic plan for 2017 that leads us to our 100-year anniversary.